Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a review on the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I've heard a lot about these and that they're awesome. So I went to every Walgreens around here trying to find them, but couldn't find them anywhere. So I had to order these online. I didn't know which color I was, so I ordered one, two, and three because I hear that these run super dark. So we will see which color is mine. I'm also going to do a slow down version of how to contour. I'm using contour palettes, bronzers, the creams. I'm going to show you how I do that. I know that I speed through it a lot, so I've been asked a few times exactly how I'm doing it. So I'm going to show you what I do without speeding through it. So if you're interested in this review and how I do my contour, then please keep watching. Okay, so I have determined which one of the three is my color, and I think number three is mine. Um, it's the light beige. The one was a little bit too pale, and then the natural just had too much of a yellow tint to it for me, and this one just seemed to match my skin tone a little better. So I'm going to apply this with the dotted technique that I do and I'm going to use the Artiste Oval 7 to do this. So I'm just going to, like I said, just tap little dots all over my face. I'm really hoping this stuff is as good as I've heard. The hype about it is insane so of course I had to try it. Okay so now that I have it all on take this brush and we're just gonna paint it on the face. Smooth little motions So I'll tell you right off the bat what I'm noticing while I'm trying to put this on. It is very thick and I guess that's because you know it has a concealer in it and concealers are thick so that they can cover those dark circles and all that little flaws that we don't want shown. So it definitely does not smooth on to the face as easy as just a regular foundation. Like I said, it's very thick, but it does have a concealer in it. Um, my skin does feel, I can feel it on there for sure. It's, it's definitely a thicker foundation, but as far as covering well, I think it did, I think it did the job. I really like it. Oily skin, so like I said, for me, it's really hard to wear really thick foundations because over time, like within a few hours, I, f I will start feeling very oily on my face because it really clogs the pores. And I don't know so much so I need a concealer all over my face, but we'll see how I like it, you know, throughout the day. It's really made my skin tone even where a lot of times I feel like I have to mix different colors to get to a color that matches my skin tone that'll blend with my neck and I really don't even feel like if you can see through here that I even have a line and usually I have lines just with foundation that I have to drag it down my neck so everything blends and this I did not have to do. If you are interested in trying this, it's definitely worth trying. It's a very good foundation. It really covers well. I still feel like I would need to have a concealer underneath my eyes. Like that's something I'm just going to have to do. But I definitely think it's awesome to be able to apply a foundation that has a concealer in it. Because usually later, I go back under my eyes and reconceal. Anyway, the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm using number three, light beige. I got this off Amazon, so if you can't find it in your Walgreens, then get it on Amazon. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eye makeup, my brows, and then I will come back and I will show you how I contour. Okay, so now that I have my makeup on, um, I'm going to do my contouring. I will say that my favorite contour brush, which you've seen me post a thousand times, is the Real Techniques um, contour brush. This does come in a duo pack, so you can't buy it by itself, but I did notice that they had this at Target. So you can get this online at Target. It's the only place I've been able to find the duo pack. So if you're looking for this brush, pick it up at Target or order it online. Real Techniques also has a, another contour brush. You can buy this one by itself. It's the 301. Um, you can pick this up at Ulta or on their website, um, Real Techniques website. But I'm still, I like this brush, but I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of it just because it's such a thick, it's really, really thick. And I like a thin line that I can blend out and this just puts a really thick line. So it's not my favorite brush, but you know, you might like it. The different types of contouring kits that you can use are creams like this Anastasia one. Um, I'm not going to use any creams today, but this is what the creams look like. And I typically will just put a streak on my face and then I'll get a damp beauty blender and I'll just tap it out until I blend it out to where I want it. Um, but today I am going to use a powder contour. Now there's a few different contours that you can buy. I mean, almost every brand has one. Um, but my two favorites right now are, I'm sorry, are the um, Too Faced Chiseled to Perfection. I love this palette. Love all the different colors. And it has, you know, two little highlighters in there that you can use as well. You can also use any type of bronzer. Any bronzer you have, you can use to contour. This one is the Bahama Mama by The Balm. I use this one to contour all the time with. Today, I think I'm going to use the Bahama Mama and with the Real Techniques brush, and I'm gonna show you how to contour. It's actually very easy. I'm just going to just get a little bit of the powder on the end of the brush. Now this is a very tapered end, which is why I said I like this brush, because it allows me to have more control of where I put the line, and it doesn't give me this thick line that I then have to try to trim down and blend in. So you just wanna take it from the ear till about here, you can typically suck in your cheeks to see where your cheekbone is, like this, and you wanna just follow that line. And it doesn't have to be a perfect line, okay? Because we're gonna blend this in, so if it's not just perfect from your ear down, don't worry, we're gonna blend. And I'm also not using a lot of pressure. Um, the more pressure you use, the more you're pushing that into the skin. And you just want it to really sit on top so that you can blend it out. So I'm not pushing this really hard. I'm just lightly putting it on. And then I'm going to blend it in. Okay, so you see I have both lines put on. They're fairly decent, they're dark. So the next thing is, is just blending it in and blending it up. I don't ever just blend right here. I always take this and I blend it up around here to make everything just go together. So I never just do right here. So once you have it on and you're ready to start blending, I just use very light strokes, just very, soft, light strokes, and I'm just going in circles. And you will see that now that line is not so dark anymore. It's not just this prominent line. So the more you go in little circles up and down this, the more it blends itself in and boom. So you see the perfect line over here 
has now been blended in and it's just light strokes or light circular motions if you will just going in circles like this and if you see I'm kind of making like a big circle on my face so that's taking that color and really blending it this way instead of keeping it just this straight line if I just sat here and did this it would keep it a straight line. So we don't want it to do that. We don't want the straight line there. So I blend it into the circular motion like that and easy peasy. So now let's go over here and do this side. Same thing, just soft circular motions. All right, so you can see that I have blended this in and you can keep blending as you want, like getting it on up into your hairline so you don't have like that little space between your ear and your hair and everything like that. You can always move your hair back and really just kind of get in there so that it, you know, just blends. So you don't have any spots showing. So now also what I told you I do is I blend up. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more color and I just kind of go around my hairline and up here at my temples, I kind of come down a little bit further. I'm not trying to come all the way down to my eyebrow. I'm just kind of adding a shadow, if you will. So this just helps everything to really blend in with your contour so you don't just have this dark here it just blends in a lot better when you do it all the way around your hairline and you bring it out a little further on your temples So there you have it. This is the contour. You can see that everything's blended in. I blend all the way around my temples, down to my cheekbones or underneath my cheekbones. I did this in less than five minutes. Simple, just two little products. Well, here we go, sorry, the Bahama Mama and this contour brush. So now that I have my blush on, I'm gonna go over the highlighters with you guys. Um, I do have a few that are my favorites. One is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is the highlighter. It's super pigmented. I use this one all the time for eyeshadow as well as a highlight the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now I don't use these as eyeshadows only because, and the ones that come in these pans like this, because they're just so bright and they have a lot more like glittery flakes in them. And so those don't go on well as eyeshadows. They look better as a highlight, but you can just see how bright this is. It's very pigmented. One of my favorites when I really, really want my cheekbones to pop. Then you have the Glow Kits by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is the Gleam. And this is the colors. You get a lot of highlighters for the money with this. Like, seriously. I mean, you get four for the price of one. So, great buy. And all of Anastasia Beverly Hills products are amazing. This one is that glow. This is what it looks like. So like I said, I mean, these are just super big pans. So for the money, you just get so much highlighter and you get different colors, which is just awesome. I just love these, so I'm glad I got them. Um, if you haven't gotten your hands on one or the other, you should go pick one up. You will love it. I'm going to use the Glow Kit and Gleam. 
I'm gonna use this color right here and it is called Crushed Pearl. Um, this is the brush that I use. I have had this brush for like 10 years. It doesn't have a name on it. I can just tell you it's very soft. It's like a fan brush. I'm not really sure. I've never been able to find one. It's just, I love this brush. I, I, I would not know where to tell you to find one of these. However, you can use fan brushes and you can get these anywhere. And these are really good to place any highlights right there. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this highlight and I'm just gonna place it above my cheekbone and I like to bring it on up around the eyebrow. So we're just gonna place it right here and you're gonna see it really pop. So like I said, just a little bit of these go a long way and you just tap it there. Don't worry, we will blend this out. I always do the tip of my nose. So just place a little here and don't worry, we're gonna blend this out too because it's very, very bright. We're gonna go over here and do the other side. Again, can I just say that these highlighters are amazing and they're such big pans. Like I can't get over how much highlighter you get for the money. Like, hold on, I'm gonna Google how much these are for you. Low kits are $40 and I looked up the price for the Mary Luminizer and this is just one color and on Amazon it is $21. So you're getting four colors for 40, one color for 21. I mean, that's not a bad price for a highlighter. I'm just saying that wow, you get a lot of highlighter for your money with these glow kits. I am going to take a BH stippling brush like this. And I'm just gonna lightly go over all of this together. And we're just light strokes. This is the highlight. I have blended it in with my blush and my contour by just doing big, soft, circular motions over all of it to blend it in. That is all I have for you guys today. As always, I will leave down in the bottom bar for you guys all the products that I used on my face. Um, the eyeshadow look that I used today, um, I will link down in the bottom bar for you guys to the video of that. I did a look that I've already done before. So if you're just wanting to know how I did my eyes, go check out that video. It's down in the bottom bar for you below. And remember, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up. Remember to always subscribe. And until next time, y'all stay gorgeous.